just thrilled to get to meet you and talk to you and just to admire your work because you are amazing. Thank amazing. you so much, but I can't realize that. But it's such a pleasure to be with you today. And it's an honor to be with you and to be interviewed by you. You've been setting up your first museum exhibition at Skadlacost. What do you think of our little village? What I think about the little village, but Provence is just my heart. Yes. Because my grandfather bought long time ago an amazing house in the Liberon too, mm -hmm. just near here. It's a part of my life. Yes. And I love because all its light, all its smelling freedom, and I can run everywhere, and you can touch the earth and can be closer with reality, mm -hmm. finally. Several iconic designs are in the exhibition. How did you make the selections? Because it must have been quite difficult with your entire body of work. It's quite difficult. I have mm. never the time to see my work like art because every season, every six months, I have to reinvent myself, reinvent the collection mm. with my DNA, of course. Mm -hmm. But it was very difficult to underline what is the best part of my work. And it's very important for me to say, I'm not choose all myself because you crew, because they work a lot on my work to define what is the best way to show my work in this exhibition at Lacoste. Mm -hmm. They have choose all the best pieces that I love and that they love. So thank you for that. Well, it's fabulous. And I think that guests who come to the museum will get an idea of the breadth and depth and the sparkle, the glamour of your work. I think that this exhibition is very Parisian, finally, because, Ooh, because okay. in fact, it's classic with lots of beautiful embellishment. You can see the cut nearly touching the fabric. Mm. You can see amazing harness in crystals, mm -hmm. amazing hearts, and it's futuristic fashion. think that makes your work so relatable to a lot of people who can imagine themselves as a superhero. And everybody Man. has a superpower, yeah. right? So what is your superpower? My superpower? Yes. Uh, I'm a super dreamer. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> I love to dream, I love to share, and I love to be in my workshop mm. in the center of the hurricane mm -hmm. with my seamstress, with my CEO, with my friends, with my muses, mm -hmm. with my fashion models, with a little team to create big, big story. Big story. Every yeah. season. I love the way you describe it like a hurricane. That's so <laughs> fun. That's so fun. When you were starting out, I understand maybe you were inspired by my friend Andre Leon Talley. In mm -hmm. fact, I have to say something about him because he was the first black people for me in fashion who pushed the limits of creativity. Mm -hmm. And when I, sorry, I'm a little bit moved because mm -hmm. when I create the collection First Colors mm -hmm. with my CEO, Jean-Paul Covin, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. At this time, Mr. André Leontele pushed the limit for black people mm -hmm. before Black Lives Matter. And because in my work, it's very important for me to be inclusive with different types of people. Everybody needs to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to transform themselves. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to grow up. So if I could help them just to underline what is the best for them, I win my bet. I know you worked with several other artists um, to create some of the works that are in the exhibition with feather workers and with glass blowers. How is it to collaborate with some of these other artists or artisans? In fact, they contact me via Instagram. Oh. Believe it or not. Fantastic. Because they are very young. Mm -hmm. Julian Vermeulen is the famous feathers artist in France. And at this moment, I designed a new collection about Hitchcock mm -hmm. called First Crime. Yes. And when I saw that, I said, the birds, the TP birds, address, yes. <laughs> First Crime, Hitchcock. I want this man. So <laughs> I contact him via Instagram. Yes. I just make an amazing meeting. I yeah. invited him to, to for lunch. And now it's one of my best friends. Amazing. 
amazing. And I amazing. love him so much. What a great collaborator. some notable houses early in your career. What did you learn from some of those first jobs? In fact, I used to try to become a doctor. So I studied medical studies during uh, four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you look my work in the details, all the cut is very anatomic. Mm -hmm. It's my obsession. Yes. How to underland a beautiful breast, how to underland a beautiful waist, the hips, mm -hmm. beautiful shoulders, mm -hmm. and all it's about cut. Mm -hmm. I love to work directly with the fabric on the mannequin and to transform the dress directly with anatomic cut. Mm -hmm. And also, when you studied a medicine, uh, you have to be a quite good worker. You have to work every time. No. Yes, well, I'm, because I met Jean-Paul Gaultier too, and I know that he was one person that you worked with yeah. early on. Mm -hmm. but in fact, it's very important for students and when you are assistant, to go in the big house like Jean-Paul Gaultier. Important. It's very important. Mm -hmm. It was such a pleasure to work with Jean Gallian Oh, yeah. It was such an honor to listen Mr. Alexander McQueen at Givenchy. Mm -hmm. The craziness of Jean-Paul Gaultier was such a, a dream. It teach me how to, to cut. It uh -huh. teach me how to take distance with, with your mannequin when you create to see just the shape and mm. how it's moving. Oh. It was a, a real luck to be in the side of this big name mm -hmm. in fashion mm -hmm. because you learn. You learn, absolutely. You learn. Yeah. Our students will learn a lot from seeing your exhibition. So thank you for being in that way a guest you know, teacher here because they will learn it's from you. It's my pleasure. Yeah. You're known for embracing technology and even call your Apple Pencil your magic wand. Might you cast a spell for me? Ah, <laughs> alors. Now, imagine you are my favorite client. Oh, yes. So in fact, it's very exciting to be on the side of the clients because you can share directly with her and you can very quickly show her the first cage. Ah, yeah. So you are very chic mm -hmm. and sober. Imagine a bateau color, very sober. Mm -hmm. It's a night dress, of oh course. God, May we? <laughs> and in fact, I love the idea to have a kimono sleeve and you have a tight waist. Mm -hmm. So I could perhaps add a little bit beautiful bed. Mm -hmm. You need to have anatomic beautiful cut like this. Okay. So you love working this way? Always. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to share. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when I have a meeting with my clients, I am like Mary Puppets. I come with a big bag. In my big bag, I have my iPad Pro, fabrics, swatches, mm -hmm. embellishment, mm -hmm. embroideries from Shanaga, amazing fabrics from Sfate Combier, mm -hmm. and I open the bags and all it's transformed. Amazing. About that. Two little padding, yes. two little yes, bits, bit. yes, little yeah. Bit. Mm -hmm. And after we can add embellishment, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I want something a bit like this. Done, and that's all. Ah, it's this magnificent. That's amazing. Well, I loved seeing you work so quickly and so beautifully. And obviously, this is a great tool for you. It's my best friend. It's your best friend. I sleep with it. I eat with it. Yeah. I go to my shower too with it. Is it waterproof? <laughs> for me, new technology, it's an of haute couture. Haute couture, it's always to see forward something. It's always how to push the limits of the new technology mm -hmm. and the know-how. Mm -hmm. And finally, what is haute couture? Haute couture, it's tradition mm -hmm. and innovation. Mm -hmm. And it's my obsession, mm -hmm. how to create a new collaboration between old know-how and the future will be in virtual. Mm. You know that. Yeah, so you're doing game design. How do you think that our game design students can work with our fashion students? What would you recommend? It's a game changer. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Definitely. In the future, you will have a meeting with Julien Fournier in the Metaverse. Mm -hmm. And because all the body of my clients will be scanning, she will jump in my uh, virtual office mm -hmm. to have a meeting and I will make a draping directly on her body mm -hmm. and to have the dress on her in virtual. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, my obsession is how to transform in 3D fabrics. Mm -hmm. The interaction between different fabrics mm -hmm. have to be created in 3D. Yes. So my first obsession... Wait, why don't you invent that? <laughs> I need to find an investor for that. Mm -hmm. But my obsession is to create a fabric library in virtual. That's something to look forward to. Julian, it has been such a pleasure getting to know you in this beautiful spot and experiencing firsthand with you your work and I just can't thank you enough for joining me here today and also for collaborating with us on this amazing exhibition that I hope everyone will come and see. I'm very honored to start this exhibit for the first time with you. Oh my friend. Thank you so my much. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.